Hey, what's up guys? All right, so as you may or may not have heard, T-Mobile is coming out with a new Android handset. It's going to be called the MyTouch Slide. And basically what it is, it's following the whole brand of MyTouch and the MyTouch 3G and all that stuff. Uh, the difference with the MyTouch Slide is that it's going to be a MyTouch, but it has a keyboard. Now, a lot of people are saying, wow, that's awesome. T-Mobile finally heard the cries of G1 and the Android community, and they decided to bring like an update to the G1. Well, that's not in entirely the case at all. Basically what happened was Psychic has always been really, really popular and really um, just a, a good brand for T-Mobile. And Microsoft recently purchased Danger, the people that make Psychic, and what they did was they basically fired off the entire team. So T-Mobile was faced with, uh, I guess, a dilemma of sorts. Like, how do we take our coolest, hippest line of phones and, uh, um, and update them now that there, there's, there's not going to be any more updates for them. So what they did was some type of deal with HTC and they worked really closely with them. It's going to be an Android handset, but it's the first Android handset on T-Mobile to feature HTC Sense UI. Uh, this will be the first for T-Mobile, um, or the only way to to get it onto T-Mobile was for T-Mobile to have a really strong hand in what, what goes on um, in the whole Sense UI thing, so you will see a whole lot of influence as far as um, T-Mobile goes. There's tons of their apps and a bunch of weird stuff from them um, that'll be inside of that whole the whole Android UI and stuff. You'll you'll have to see it. Now you can thank the guy over at XDA Binary for getting the system uh, the system dump for the MyTouch, and you can thank Domin Dominuk over um, at XDA also on Twitter. His Twitter will be down at the bottom. Uh, he was like one of the first people to port it over to the G1 and the MyTouch, so um, major props to that. I'm going to show you guys it running on the G1, and you guys can basically use this video to give you a taste of what the uh, the MyTouch slide is going to be about. So sit right there, I'm going to show you guys the ROM right now. Roll it! Alright, so we had just booted up. There's, there's no boot screen because, I don't know, it's just broken or that's how early this ROM is. But I'm just going to show you guys a setup process real quick. It looks a little bit different. 100% U. Um, that's kind of like their new thing now with this, as far as the My Touch slide goes, is that they want it to be like their little motto now with T-Mobile 100% U. So there's a lot of cool new features and stuff to basically make the My Touch slide 100% U. Now, they give you a couple of options to choose from. Uh, basically what this whole setup process is doing is just kind of simplifying the whole um, what widgets your home screen is going to start out with. So we're just going to skip all this stuff. Yes, I want to allow all that stuff because I like it. Now they're building your home screen as you can see here. They are making it 100% me. Now, I do need to import my contacts and set up my email account, so I'm going to go do that. Alright, so first thing you notice is the lock screen looks a little bit different from, I guess, your traditional Sense ROMs. Uh, it's got the bar here that you still pull down, but um, kind of has a little bit different styling. A little bit hard to see because of the theme that I'm using, but um, I don't know. It's got these cool little grips, and it looks all shiny and glossy and just totally totally amazing. I love HTC and their their whole Sense UI and what they do with Android. It just spiffs it all up and makes it look all wonderful. Uh, the home screen you'll see here, this is the your your app drawer I guess. You don't pull it out, you just tap it to open it. Uh, here will be your shortcut to your phone dialer. Now if I click it, um, I don't want to show off the number that's on top, but um, it'll show your last called or whoever called you last on top there. And um, I don't know, it's cool. The dialer pops up and you still see the background. Uh, I guess your your the background of your home screen and stuff, and I think it's really neat. Click here, this will take you to your contacts. Over here will take you to your call history. Um, yeah, you get to see all your contacts and everything. It's pretty cool. Down here you have the different tabs and you just slide it like any other sense ROM. And it'll just uh, take you through your faves and your... Whoop, let's go back here. Accidentally click somebody. Um, your faves, I have to add some online directories, call history, and you just slide it accordingly. Again, awesome uh, function, I guess, of the HTC and their Sense UI. But let's just go back to the home screen for now. And we'll uh, we'll explore some of the apps a little bit later. If you click the home button on the home screen, if you're at the default screen, it'll take you to the, I guess, the whole zoomed out thing. It does support multi-touch too, so you can pinch to zoom out and... 
and open it where where you want to go. Now, this just on default it's set at five home screens, but uh, you could also change that to seven, like on traditional sense UI. I tend to keep it at five just because it's running on my G1, and of course I'm limited by memory and all this stuff, so. I'm trying to make it as easy on my G1 as possible, so I'll just keep it at five screens. I think it's, it's a pretty cool little option. Oh, another thing they changed was the notification bar. If you check here, it actually gives you your most recent apps that you just used, um, along with your notification. So a lot of people don't use this function when you hold down the home button, and then it brings up your most used apps, uh, or your most recent apps. Again, the noobs, uh, I, I'm all for this, this whole simplicity, and just trying to make it easier around for everybody. Uh, because, again, I have friends, and they're noobs, and they would ask me, like, Oh, it would be cool if you can see your most recently used apps. And I'm just like, dude, just hold on the home button. But it's cool because now it's in the notification bar. You can't uh, run away from it. And I think it's really neat that they did that. Now, you do have all of the uh, widgets and stuff. It's a little bit different than when you're, what you might be used to on a SenseROM. Uh, widgets normally are separated into HTC and Android and like something else at the bottom, I think, I can't remember, but um, here they're just all consolidated into one uh, user-friendly list of, I guess, just all the apps that you can do, so, or all the widgets you can use. Rosie Utility, this will be the clock ones, and you got all the clocks that you know and love from your SenseROMs. One of the ones that is making, I guess, a little, little more buzz is the whole friend stream. Uh, this comes in all of the 2.1 sense ROMs. You can have a little tiny one that's um, 2x4, or you can go for the full screen widget. So we'll go with the full screen widget, and we'll see what my friends are talking about. You don't appear to have any friends. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> sucks, sucks for me. I am a big fan of HTC widgets. I love them. I think they're gorgeous. And um, with seven screens, it's cool to have that extra space to put a really fun, really cool widget Another really awesome feature that I like and I'm kind of excited about with my touch slide or just um, with this whole Espresso Sense stuff is the ability to change my modes, which are just like the theme of your phone. So when I go here, you can change the basically the general theme of your phone. It changes the little rosy guy at the bottom or the, the tab launcher. It changes the lock screen, so you can get a good picture of that. Um, also, the highlights change as well, so you'll have green highlights with the green theme, pink, my personal favorite. Um, this one is really cool too. It's a little more transparent and it's got the blue highlights and you have orange and you have um, some kind of rocky brown and surfer dude, wood, surfboard, surf up. This one is just like a, a glossy black. Oh, this one looks kind of nice actually. Um, I'm just going to keep it at the one I have now. Once you choose your theme, you can change the mode as well. So you have different scenes basically on your phone. Um, right now I just have it on home, but the mode you can change and it'll just change your home screen to whatever you want. So I think they give, give you up to like five or something, but uh, you can change it so when you're at work, it'll have an entirely different home screen with like all your work widgets, like calendars or people contacts so that you can be effective and quick at what you want to do on your phone and stuff. I think it's really cool. Um, I just set mine on home, but I guess if I was at work, I would actually make a different um, home screen and save it on here. Uh, before that used to be known as scenes, they kind of changed the, the whole terminology of it. I guess just to make it a little more user friendly and easier on people. Uh, those are my wallpapers, my appearance, this will be your highlights. I wish they would just name them like an actual color, but Aloha Sandstone. Those are all the highlights you see when you're trying to make a selection. I like Floyd. <laughs> Pink, gay Floyd, it sounds like a... So yeah, just a whole lot of customization and stuff. T-Mobile, I feel like, is trying to make this a little more user-friendly to people, a little more hip, a little more cool. Um, I really like what they're doing with it.